Thanks for stopping. We have a new track layout, and uh, this is a test track. And what I mean by test track is that, uh, well, if you saw our video on the Torino Talladega review, we built a test track for that. And the idea behind the design wasn't necessarily to make it, you know, ultra competitive or real big or well thought out or or fun, um, but rather the idea was since we're testing and reviewing cars, we wanted to be sure to add every track element that you know you might encounter on a, a Carrera track. So you know that meaning you know all the different radius turns, you know one, two, you know three and four. Uh, bank turns, you know, bridge sections as well, you know, m multiple lane changes and that kind of thing. So that's the idea of the test track and we just modified our previous one uh, to this one for some future videos. You know, we can take a walk around, kind of see some of the individual elements and why they're there. So our previous track, we had a long stretch. We made this just longer. We wanted to make sure that we really get the cars up to top speed to see how fast they are and also what's really important is to see how well they handle lane changers at high speeds also uh, so coming down this front stretch I mean, we have our pits in here too and then that comes into our sharpest you know turn the radius one turn so I guess we're kind of testing out the brakes on the car too because you got to be pretty hard on the binders after coming off that front straightaway so well, the track reverses direction through, I don't know what you call it, a button hook or a hairpin or a teardrop turn or whatever you call it, but all right, we're just going to call it a switchback for now, I guess. All right, so that comes back and then the track runs in the opposite direction and the original design had it just run through here and then around and then through this loop and that pretty much satisfied all of our requirements, well, most of them for a test track anyway, and then we decided, you know, if we're going to be running you know, hundreds or thousands of laps on this track while we do like reviews and testing, we must make it a little bit more interesting. So we added a boot. You say, wait, what's that a boot? No, we're not Canadian. We're talking about a boot like they like say in Watkins Glen, where it's kind of like an, an optional track configuration where it kind of runs off, does its thing, then kind of comes back to the original racing line. But then this also gave us an opportunity to put in our, our bridge sections in here. And that's important for our test track because some cars may have an issue with the chassis run, rubbing on the front and back when it comes into this section or when it goes over the crest, possibly the middle of the chassis as well. And so, you know, we've got that running up over here. We have an extra 180 degrees of radius one, no big deal. So that's what that's about. But that runs down into, we call it a variable radius turn. It's a radius one here, then it relaxes into a radius two, and then that comes down into a banked radius 3 turn here and then coming out of that radius 3 right hand bank turn big twist in the track because then we go into a left hand bank turn and this is a radius 2 and it's important that we have this radius 2 bank turn in here because some cars might have a problem with that turn so we just want to be sure that uh, you know when Carrera labels that as it being okay for that that it actually is because sometimes it's not and then uh, this comes through to the cross the start finish line and then underneath the underpass and that at the same level as the upper side of the three bank turn is a four, a flat four, so that's a pretty fast turn there. And then coming out from the other side of that four and then that goes into a slightly sharper radius three turn and then back to the front stretch. Yeah, back to this boot section here real quick. Uh, I mentioned we have the bridge sections in here, although ultimately the height of the track at this end is higher than your bridge section would normally take you. This is kind of like all running up at an angle. Um, and originally we had this turning around right here and then changed it because we wanted this to be a higher speed section of track and then that turned around here and then realized that's not good either. There's no way to support the track because of the track underneath. You know, without building custom bridge support so then we extended it even more and what happened there is now the track is actually overhanging the edge of the table and it's actually over the top of the 
catch fencing as well too. So if a car, <laughs> car leaves the track, goes over the guardrail, that's a long way to the floor. As a matter of fact, in scale, the 30 second scale, that's like a 120 foot drop or like 40 meters. So we're putting our cars in great peril for the benefit of you, the viewer. You're welcome. And again, this is a test track. This isn't something that we would run uh, for slot club. Uh, whenever the slot club gets back together again, we'll simplify it. It's a little too technical right now. And you might go, well, it's not that technical. And well, for some of the guys in our club, a technical track means a track that has turns in it. So, uh, you know, we'll simplify it. Plus our slot club track is going to end up being a lot bigger than this. You know, and also we have a potential marshalling nightmare back in this area as well. Speaking of track updates, my man Jeff has a layout that's coming along nicely. Now his is more of a permanent layout, so he's doing all the terrain. He's got custom guardrails that he made himself, which are very cool. Custom lighting, which is even cooler than that. So if you haven't already, go on over and check out his channel where he's got videos on how he's doing all of that. His channel is titled Garage Maker Guy. Very neat stuff he's doing with his track. However, back to our track, we'll be using it in a few of our upcoming videos, so be sure to keep an eye out for those, and also, as usual, don't forget to have fun, and we'll see you next time.